You got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Woo! Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I bring a little telescope in. It's a pretty good telescope. This is good for long range. And um, if you want to take a look at it and take some pictures and video, you could actually use this for that. And I'm going to show you exactly what you get when you purchase some of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right. First of all, they give you a little item and it's 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 like a, a hand, I, you know, pretty much like a foot long. It's half a foot almost, you know, so it is about 12 inches almost there. If you guys can see it, uh, it fits in the palm of my hand. It's very small. It has telescopic view from. So it's 12 to 50 X HD, good quality. Um, this system is pretty simple to use. You can just take out the cap here. So you can actually, there's a little cap in here that I just removed right now. So you could act, add your own um, tripod in here. So if you have a nice sturdy tripod, you could set this up. I recommend you getting this nice sturdy uh, tripod. If you're going to use this, especially if you're going to add it with your phone and we're going to talk a little bit more. So this attachment was also in there too. I set it up right now. As you can see, you could go one hand. So if you're going to a basketball, football game or something, and you're sitting up on the nose bleeds, but you want to be able to see the action. This will get you right in there. And I like that they give you a, a lens cap right here in the front too. And they give you one for the back too, if you guys can notice this. So the back one is just a little larger. You could attach it too. There's a little string area that you could attach it so you won't lose it too. Um, so this is pretty simple. And then you magnify just with one hand, left and right. And then you lens out here so you actually your eyes won't touch the actual lens because you need to be like a little bit away from it if you ever shoot a scope uh, on a if you ever shoot a gun on a scope uh you never put your face on the actual scope all right because there's a kickback in there but and also it's you're not going to get the full picture on the scope so you got to make sure you're off of it and see if you could you know view some of it so this is pretty simple e easy to set up and i'm going to show you a little bit of the uh, uh that i took it to the gun range and how i was using it and why i recommend you something like this if you're going to go to a gun range now this item is very small and it's not uh it's not like the larger ones but it gets you to the actual action where you want to see so pretty simple to use and i'm going to do a demo out here so you guys can see some of the birds out here that i have and then we're going to take it to the gun range too so you can see some of the the features that i can do now recommendation this thing here right here is very simple to set up so all you got to do is lock it in there once you lock it in there you lock it here this is where you actually lock it if you guys can see this this is where you actually lock it and this won't come out as simple as it is now when you're setting up your phone now the hard part of the phone there's a little loose mechanism in here you could go up and down on here all right, so you can move the phone anywhere you want. There is another tripod for this, but this is a separate issue. We're not going to put it on here. We're going to put it in here because this is where the weight's going to be on. And um, you lock it in. When you place your phone, the phone goes on the top here, and you have to pretty much adjust your phone to where the actual lens is. Now, the only problem I had is if you have a brand new phone that has four or five cameras, you can have a lot of issues because every time you zoom in, it changes to a different camera. So my recommendation is getting maybe an older camera phone or if you have a phone that only has two cameras, you can mess with that. That's easier, you know, because I have a phone that has five cameras. Every time you zoom in a little bit, uh, 10x, it changes to a next camera. Next 10x, it changes to the next one until it goes to 20x, which is the last camera, which is very difficult. On top of that, when you have to zoom in, you have to zoom when you set it up and you finally fix it you're gonna see a little a ring you have to actually zoom in just a, a fraction a little bit so it could cover the whole screen itself so that's another thing you got to make sure so that you cover that thing adjusting it is a little tricky sometimes you got to make it make sure it's adjustable by going up and down until you actually find the actual phone lens all right once you find the phone lens you'll see it and it's down here from there now the lens cap is very simple to remove and you can see it, it just easy to remove easy to uh, and you got plenty of space in there so anything that you know flies uh close by or any kind of dust or anything that it's gonna be a little difficult to get in there and on top of that they give you a dust cleaner here so you could use this so you could clean this kind of lens all right don't touch it with your fingers very very sensitive so you don't want to live in any fingerprints this is a, a plus taking it outdoors and using it is a plus now like i said you don't really have to use this phone thing this is a plus that they even added this in there then we remove it i like to go solo like this and just go and videotape record or something like that if i want to i'll add it in here but if i'm going to go see a football game basketball big baseball game or anywhere indoors outdoors perfect item to do especially for those that love 
go into the gun range. You want to see what you hit. You want to see what you miss. You want to record your shots. You can do that here. And I am going to put some of the uh, video footage so you guys can see what I do with it. So. I think you hit it. Um, hopefully you guys like it. And on top of that, look at this. Look at that. They give you all everything you need. They give you a little tripod. This is a three-legged tripod. It, these are a little flimsy. This is pretty much if you're going to set it up on your desk. But uh, if you're going to set up your phone, I wouldn't recommend this at all. Because this, this might fall and break over your phone. Because you need it tilts a little bit more forward because of the weight. So make sure you have a, a good tripod for this stuff. Especially if you're going to add your phone into it. Right? You don't want to just add your phone to something that's going to keep, keep flipping up. Oh. All right, here we have a setup with the actual phone. This is a Galaxy 21 Ultra. And I had a little problem looking for the actual scope. You have to mess with it, you have to tweak it, you have to move these things to adjust it. Um, suggestion, maybe go with a less um, intense phone, maybe something with less cameras, maybe two cameras. This one has five cameras, so it's a little more difficult, more tricky. Uh, but the system itself, you're gonna see some of the footage. I took it to the gun range. Um, you're going to see some of the footage. I took it outside, uh, took some video, but it works very well with a stand, a tripod. So we are recording here. Look at this, Wayava, far away. I'm going to show you how far we are. Oops. We're actually extremely far. This bird far away. I want to take it to a gun range next. See how good we get get a video on. Uh, just to see how far we are. If you guys like what you guys see, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.